Hello, and welcome to another video by ES Repair. I am your host, Mr. Fixit. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create your own home group among your computers. Now, for this to work, you have to have a, at least two computers for this to work, and they have to run Windows 7, Windows 8, or Windows 10. Now, as you can see, the screen I'm look that you're looking at is Windows 10, uh, but the procedure I'm going to show you is uh, very similar between the 7, 8, and 10 operating system. Now, if you're, what we're going to do is we need to go into Control Panel. Now, if you're in Windows 7, uh, you can just click your Start button uh, down in the lower left corner, and then click on to Control Panel, which would be on the right-hand side. Now, if you're in Windows 8 or Windows 10, um, what you'll do is right-click the Start button, and then you'll see Control Panel right here. Go ahead and click on it. Now, when you go into Control Panel, you'll see that you'll have, you may see Categories. Now, if you see Categories, uh, go ahead and come up here to Category and change it to Large Icons. And you'll see these. Now, these are all the Control Panel options that you can choose from. Now, to set up the Home Group, you'll see over here uh, the Home Group option. You'll click that, and it will bring you to this screen. Now, you should see this message. Uh, it'll say uh, there is currently no home group on the network, which is fine. Now, if you do have issues and it says that you do, uh, then I, do, I will put up another video that shows you how to fix those problems. But in the meantime, I want to show you how to set one up. Now, to create one, um, you could go under Create Home Group. Now, on this window, it's going to tell you that you can share your files, your printers, with other computers. Uh, this home group is going to be password protected. And you will always be able to choose uh, what you share. Now, each computer can be different depending on what you want to share on that computer with the rest of your computers of the network. Go ahead and choose Next. And here it gives you the options of what you want to share. Uh, if you want to share your pictures, your videos, music, uh, documents, uh, printers and devices. And then once you select what to share and what not to share, go ahead and click Next. Now, what it's going to do here is it's going to create a unique password. Now, this password that it creates um, is going to be unique for this home group that you are creating. Now, every computer that you have on this network going to use home group will need to have this password. So, if you need to, you do have the option to print the password and the instructions and it will show you exactly what to do on the other computers. Now if you ever forget the home group password you can view or change it by opening the home group in control panel. Now once it creates the password and you have it written down go ahead and we'll go to the next computer and I'll show you what to do next. Now on your uh, other computer that you're going to add to your home group and each computer that you're going to have on this home group these are the steps that you need to take once you have that password. Now uh, as I said you know we'll go into control panel Go to Home Group, 
Now, as you can see, you'll see the message where it says that you've been invited to join a home group. And it shows you the same information I showed you earlier. And it's going to give you the option to join now or to cancel. So what we'll do is join now. Now, as I said, you on this computer on each computer, you can choose what each individual computer can share on the network. So I'll go ahead, you can set it up what you want shared among your uh, computers and then choose next. Now because that the network or the home group already exists, as you can see it's going to ask you the password. Now the password I had you write down is a password you need to type into this. Now keep in mind that the password is case sensitive. So be sure that you type in the password exactly as you've seen it on the other computer. Now, once you verify your password, as I did here, because I did have it mistyped, then you can click Next. Now it's going to verify the password that you typed in. Now, once you have the message here, it says you have joined the home group. And now you can access all the files that's on the computer. And then choose finish. Now you may see this message where it says that the home group is currently sharing libraries on this computer. Some home group options will be unavailable until sharing completes. Now do not shut down the computer. So once it comes up that means it's in the process. Do not interrupt the process. Now once it's completed, you'll see right here it shows everything that's being shared. And as you can see, you have pictures, printers, videos, documents. Now if you need to change anything, you can click here where it says change what you're sharing with the home group. Now as I said, each computer is different, so you can set up specifically what each computer can share. Now, you can also have your devices and TVs. If you want to set that up, uh, you can see which devices are on the network, like TVs, that can also share uh, your computer, or share your files and videos. Now, if you need to see what the password is, to add another computer, uh, you can click here, and this will show you what the password is again. So if you're going to add another computer later on, this is where you could go to find out what the password is. And of course you can also print it if you need to. Uh, if you need to change the password, uh, you can click here. Uh, this will allow you to change the password to the home group. And now keep in mind, every computer that's going to join this home group has to have the same password. If you do not want to stay connected to use this home group, you can choose leave the home group. And this will disconnect you from the other computers in the home group. Now you can also change advanced sharing settings. Uh, what this does uh, it gives you options. You can leave them the way they are. Uh, this is for your, your security and stuff. And once you're finished, your computers should be connected to the network. Now you can go down here, click File Explorer. And you can look down. And you'll see a home group on the lower left side that says Home Group. And this will show you all your computers that is on the home group. When you click on the home group item, you can access all the computers on the home group. Now, as you can see, i got the media center, which is the one I initially set up. Uh, this is the desktop computer that I also have set up, uh, which is my laptop. I've got to rename it, I know. But this is everything that's being shared among the computers. And you can access them and everything as to 
how you want to access your computers, you can access everything within the, that's being shared. Now once you're finished, just go ahead and close it out. Now keep in mind, you know, that uh, you can join the network. You can have as many computers you want in your home to connect to a home group. You can leave a home group. But this is how you can set up a home group using Windows 7, Windows 8, and Windows 10. Well, this concludes this video. I want to thank you for watching, and if you have any questions, any problems, please let me know. I'll be glad to help you any way I can possibly. And I will have some other uh, videos coming up soon for uh, home group troubleshooting and how to fix some common problems with home group. Well, I'm your host, Mr. Fix-It. Thank you for watching.